Whoa. Well, I got up this morning. I turned on the TV set at 5 o'clock, started some coffee going, and I plopped down in the Lazy Boy with a cup, and the lady on the weather says, Oh, and there's volcanic emissions, but they're blowing from the southwest, so it should be pretty good for us. And uh, I'm going, volcanic emissions? Huh? What? Oh, no. Um, all I know of is that there's a little bit of steam still coming up down in Leilani Estates from the last eruption. Um, and so I, what the heck is she talking about? Well, then they continued on, and pretty soon I realized, oh, my goodness, there had been a four-something earthquake last night, and uh, Kilauea opened up. She's blowing again. So we got a new uh, um, opening there in the park, and Hele Ma'u Ma'u, or some people call it Hele Ma'u Ma'u. Take your pick. Um, really raining, hey? Boy, it's been raining for days. I asked Ellen, I said, Ellen, uh, has it been raining for three days? She says, no, I think it's been raining for six. Well, <laughs> then that would make today seven. Uh, I, I was up there on the rim, took a look at the volcano, and it wasn't raining, so we got some photos for you, so you can have a look here. But actually, the best stuff is always on the USGS. You know, you go to the USGS, the Hawaiian Volcano site, and the observatory if you're interested because they have a drone, you know, and they look down where I can't go. They won't let me bring a drone in there. But I did get a pretty good shot of the gas cloud, and I understand that there's a lot of Pele's hair this time. Um, that's a, a, a glass fiber. It's like fiberglass, really. It looks like blonde hair, um, but it's nasty. You don't want to breathe it. You don't want to get it in you. Um, yeah, they said that it was really long strands, too. Uh, but the southwest wind was breaking them up, so they weren't so bad. Uh, so, we've got some pretty interesting stuff going on again. Wow, it's been almost two years, you know, since Pele took a rest. Um, it's kind of nice to know uh, what's happening here. It's probably more disconcerting when the volcanoes aren't erupting than when the volcanoes are, as long as the volcanoes are, you know, heading in a relatively safe direction like into the sea or something um, in this case here it doesn't look like there's going to be too much trouble um, I was worried when I heard about it though because that caldera at uh, Hele Ma'u Ma'u had filled with water there was a big green lake in there and I kept thinking oh man if the lava ever comes back I guess it did and I guess there were streams coming in of lava from the sides of the caldera boiled the lake away a uh, big cloud of steam when I got up there today. So it just, it just boiled it all the way. I was afraid it was just going to like explode like a pressure cooker or something. Didn't do it. Uh, didn't throw out any rocks and parks actually will let you get pretty close. <laughs> you get pretty close. You want to have a look at it. So, But, you know, you're going to need a negative test or some such thing. Um, I was really pleased when I went up there today because it was so quiet. There were a few tourists. But here, have a look at this stuff. Yeah. Well, here we are up on the rim of Kilauea. Um, that's the uh, Hele Ma'umau crater, or uh, Hele Ma'umau, as they call it. Sometimes, let's see here, what's occurred overnight is the uh, the lake, you did have a lake in there, green water, lava poured in there last night and boiled the lake away, and so now we're back to a lava lake here again, a lot of steam. There's a little bit different perspective on the whole thing, we're not really supposed to be over here, they had a sign warning us, but eh, what the heck. I think I know why we're not supposed to be here. It's this. The whole dang edge is falling in right here. Yeah, get a little closer for a selfie, you know?
now let's go take a walk around Bill's garden. So, when the lava flows, the cabbage grows. We have uh, a nice row of Chinese cabbage, Rubicon variety, and then over here we have a regular Danish ball head. And I have planted the onions. Uh, again, these are sweet onions. We got Red Rocket and Gabriella over here this year. Yeah, I've been digging sweet potatoes, so I got a great big uh, spot over here of bare dirt, just uh, waiting for me to uh, get it cleaned up. Uh, I'm planning to put sweet corn back in. Uh, on the right hand side of the image we have a brand new Eureka lemon tree on dwarf rootstock, something Ellen wanted. Over this way we have uh, both honey and Fairchild mandarins uh, beginning to set fruit properly, looking good. And right here I've got both red and green cabbages. Um, the red stuff is new for me, this is dead on, what a name huh, dead on. Um, but it does seem to be growing really well. Um, looking good, huh? Really. Not bad. Not bad at all. Over there we have some fine looking broccoli plants too. They're doing really well. So right over here behind me I have the Godzilla squash. Otherwise known as Kabocha pumpkin. Running amok everywhere. Something I've noticed about this squash, um, I've seen it in past years too, it seems to bloom and set fruit more heavily during short days, uh, which works here, but may not work for a lot of people over on the mainland because this thing seems to go to town and make fruit right around Christmas. Um, anyway, aloha, y'all be well. Um, Watch out for, for flying viruses coming in from strange places. And, uh, you know, stay home for the holidays, really. It's a good idea. Later.